One year ago, we set out to build our dream kitchen. Well, a test run for our dream kitchen. A kitchenette in our garage, which will be our kitchen until the real kitchen is built. Having never built a cabinet before, Jesse decided to design and build them from scratch. So this is going to be a sink base here. And then we've got a drawer base on either side and a set of uppers. We have a washer and dryer that's going here. And this set of cabinets is going to be a laundry area, although right now it's pretty much our primary cooking and um, kind of a kitchenette type area. First, all the plywood had to be cut to dimension. With help of a computer generated cut sheet, this was a relatively easy task. Eleven and seven eighths. Eleven and seven eighths. So supposedly that is all of the boxes for the cabinets that go over there. The cabinets would be assembled with pocket hole joinery. All right, that's what a pocket hole looks like. I think starting from left to right makes sense in my brain because that's kind of how we designed them. So let's start trying to put this 24 inch drawer base together. That's it. That's pocket hole joinery. The plywood we used was pre-finished on one side, which we used as the interior. This made the job just a little bit easier. Yep. Here's the sink base. Yep, that's the and sink. Here's the other one. So what we need to do today is actually cut up all the half inch plywood, which is what we're going to be using to build our drawers. And we're going to be using some of that for the backs, the uh, mounting blocks on the back of the cabinets. And we need to mill up the half inch backs for the upper cabinets.
So somewhere in there is all the drawers and all the backs for our cabinet set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell ourselves that the side that the tape is on gets the dado. good looking drawer, at least for me. <laughs> So let's do a little bit of work on some of the upper cabinet pieces. And this is gonna take some real focus because we, put, we have to put that dado in the right place on the right pieces. The drawer plywood didn't have a pre-finished side, so we had to do some sanding and apply the finish ourselves. Well, I'm sure you guys can't see that on the camera. It's really hard to show, but listen to this. Look at the depth. That looks like such a different drawer. Look at all that grain. Holy smokes, guys. That really pops. In fact, I feel like it just looks fantastic. Between dado joinery and glue, the drawers were solid.
done. Eight drawers done. No major problems. That was great. So today's goal is to get all of these uppers assembled. Well, very cool. So that's my very first set of upper cabinets I've ever built. We splurged on quality cabinet hardware and you bet it was soft close. Oh yeah. Guys, the pros know something about cabinet hardware. I think you can buy the cheap hardware that gets the job done, or you can invest in quality hardware. We chose to put legs on our cabinets so that if the floor ever got wet, they wouldn't be sitting in water. We later will add a removable and replaceable toe kick to hide them. I think we'll work on the face frames first and then we'll circle back and work on the doors and the drawers. We visited our scrap lumber pile for material for the face frames. It was a lot of work to beat it into submission. This entailed cutting it to dimension, running the edges through a joiner, and planing it smooth.
So today my goal is to get all the face frames cut for all the cabinets, upper and lower. As always, if you did your job properly, assembly should be a breeze. Before, after, before, after. Today's project is building door and drawer fronts for our cabinet set. So we're finally to the point where we can start the dados. We've got all the panel uh, frames cut and we've got all the drawer faces all ready to go.
That one blew up quick. <laughs> Even though the interior of the doors wouldn't really be visible, it only seemed right to treat them like the beautiful piece of art that they are and hide the joinery. Well, it looks solid to me. finally happening. This horribly ugly wall, chuck full of electrical and plumbing, is going away today. While the cabinets were being professionally painted, we had some other work to do. coming for you boneyard we're coming for you there's a lot of stuff in here that looks like i'll be doggone it would make a great countertop back to the firewood pile to create a beautiful butcher block countertop from wood that would otherwise be burned like with everything else in the cabinet build the butcher block pieces had to be cut to dimension planed and run through the joiner to make the sides completely flat.
off the family pack of clamps. We blew the breaker right in the middle of everything going perfectly good. Firewood. That was firewood. Can you guys believe this? What a transformation. goes nothing. Oh man. Ah, no turning back now. <laughs> oh boy. And so now we just move it around. So basically this is where we're starting with this mirror gloss and this is where we're heading. It's kind of a muted finish and then we'll end up using like a carnauba wax to protect it. That is definitely the secret. 600 grit with water. This turned out fantastic. With the cabinet faces back from the painters, we were beyond impressed with how they turned out. We've got to install that. No wait. We got to install all that on that wall. Thank you. 
Finally, the cherry on top to bring it all together, the backsplash. This is like Christmas, like 300 times. This is so fun. Greasy fingerprints. once said, great things are not done by impulse, but a series of small things brought together.
Okay, moment of truth. Wow, that looks incredible. <laughs> wow. You'd never know that we were struggling last night. I know, it didn't look like we were struggling, but Not man. Not bad for Jesse and Alyssa. Not too shabby. It's one thing to have a vision, and it's another thing to realize that. And so while this isn't much, really, in the context of this big house, it's something. And we made it. Mm -hmm. We actually envisioned the whole thing, we built it from the ground up, and now we have it. Mm -hmm. And we're okay with this whole house taking a long time. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to build a cracker box house that's slapped together with cheap, low quality materials in a hurry. That's not what we're trying to achieve. And this goes in line with that. And it's nice to have a preview of what we can build. We were not 100% sure we could build this. I think that's safe to say, yep. but it's real and, and it's here. And so now we have the inspiration to continue. We don't want to feel like we need art to decorate our house. Our house is the art. This is art. 